So my favorite part about the show was figuring out how to be crazy outside of my crazy self as me. Five different crazy people. I tried to make them as obnoxious as possible. My favorite part about working on the play is because the play is so open-ended and kind of structured weird, yeah. um, the process allows for lots of experimentation and just kind of trying out new things. So every time we would come to rehearsal, we'd get to kind of just like try a new blocking or try a different <laughs> interpretation right. or the script is written in such a way that you can really interpret yourself as an actor a million different ways. I'm like, maybe I'm a pissed off actor. Maybe I'm a happy actor. Maybe I'm a stupid actor. So that part of it was really kind of fun. I think my favorite part was just the rehearsal process. Actually, yeah, hanging out with Craig, Craig and, is like Laura at himself. and Laura and Maya and April. The cast is awesome. I mean, this show is so, it has the potential to be so ridiculous that we got a chance to explore all of that during the rehearsal process and it was a lot of fun. My favorite part about working on this show is that um, I get to play different characters and they're all very unique and it was a little bit more difficult to get into character than I thought it would be. So it was a great um, acting tool for me to use as an actor. Uh, I love Well. Uh, I first came across Well about eight years ago. I was probably two pages into it and I remember thinking this is the kind of theater uh, I want to be involved in. Uh, it's one of my top two or three favorite plays of all time and you know I think uh, we've done a great job with it. I think the casting choices that we made are excellent. Uh, everybody in play is absolutely on point when it comes to their character. Uh, I think Lara and Laura, who play the, the mom and daughter, are absolutely, they're absolutely fantastic. And I think, I don't know that I'm going to see a better performance in theater this year in Cleveland than Laura's Anne. Uh, she is absolutely <laughs> almost born to play this role. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, it's a fun play. It's a different play. It's engaging from the start. Uh, we're doing a lot of different things here with this production. Um, and I think it's something new. I think it's something unique. And I think it's part of what makes Cleveland theater really great, which is the sort of courage it takes to put on a play like this and for the audiences to uh, follow along. Uh, you know, I think it, it breaks the mold in a lot of ways. I think because when we're a theater who does a lot of American classics, there's a lot of formula maybe involved, mm -hmm. especially with the way the plays, the scripts are built. But this is a play that's more contemporary obviously and it's a play that uh, absolutely plays with the form in a lot of ways that uh, I don't think you saw many of the great writers doing you know even O'Neill and Tennessee Williams and those like uh, weren't playing with the form as much as Lisa Crone has done with well uh, and also you know I can't uh, it's as poignant as the play is and its themes um, it's still incredibly entertaining and incredibly fun and I think uh, that's a tough combination to come across People should come see it because uh, of all the reasons they should come see great theater. Uh, it's poignant, it's entertaining, it's uh, thought-provoking. We use Cleveland artists through and through, from top to bottom, um, and it's you know it's entertaining. It's a great way to spend 90 minutes. Uh, and I think you know it's, it's, funny. it's rewarding and it's funny. It's hilarious. And it's, and it's you know it'll make your face hurt. Yeah, the great thing about theater, especially theater like this, is you can walk out of here and you've got something uh, in the entertainment value, but you also got something I think uh, in the aesthetic value. I think you're gonna walk out maybe carrying this play with you for a while. People should come see it because they haven't seen anything like this before. I'm certain because I haven't encountered a script like this before. People should come see it um, because I think it's a great play about how do you learn to love and accept all the parts of yourself, which is kind of a lifelong journey. Like you're doing that during your teens and your 20s, but you're even still doing that in your 60s and your 70s. It's sort of how do you make peace with all the parts of you that, that, are, that, are, that are you, which is a, a lifelong journey. So it has something for everybody. Come see the show because it's a it's a story that's worth telling. That's my that's my rule. If I'm going to do a show, it's got to be a story that, that's worth telling. And this one definitely is. I think everybody can find some sort of resonance in their life in this in this play. And I think it's it's really helpful. It's 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 a woman who's having an introspective look and doesn't realize that that's what's happening. And I feel like the audience will take a lot from uh, going on that ride. People should come see it because um, it is a show that has a great message. Not only does it talk about um, health and wellness physically and mentally, but it talks about human connection. And it talks about those relationships that you build with people over the course of your lifetime and what they mean to you. So come and see it.